Miss Griffin, it is your claim that Miss Sterling's daughter, whose first name is? Ariana. Maced you. Correct. In the face. And I've read Miss Sterling's answer. Miss Sterling's answer states that her daughter was acting in self-defense. So, how old are you? 13. 13. So, teenager. I love to question teenagers. They think that they're so much smarter than adults, smarter than their parents, certainly smarter than Bird and me. Now, you had some sort of an altercation a while ago with whom? Cassandra. That's the plaintiff. What was it about? The 2015 incident, or? Well, I want to know what started the trouble between the two of you. We were all at my house for a little get-together barbecue, and me and her daughter, Ranice, was playing outside. And she wanted to play tag fo no, tackle football, but I'm a girl. I don't like playing tackle football. So I said I like to play tag football. But she didn't like that, so she started going crazy, like yelling and screaming. So her mother came outside and was like, what's wrong, Ranice? what's wrong? And she was just screaming. And then she came to me and said, what you do to my daughter, Ariana, before I can tell her, she grabbed me by my hair and started swinging me and everybody just ran outside. Okay, so that was in 2015. 15. And have you had any contact with her since 2015? Not until 2017. Okay. And that's the incident that we're here for. Okay, so 2015 passed. We're a couple of years later and we're going to go to March yes. of 2017. And this incident with the mace happened in a nail shop. You were getting your nails done. Yes, I was getting a um, pedicure. What's the name of the shop? Mm, I don't know. It's actually my first time ever going to that nail shop. So I don't know the name of the nail shop. What's the name of the nail shop? Pink Lotus Nails. And you've been there before? Yes. I get my eyebrows done there. Only your eyebrows or your nails? Oh, I was getting my nails done because the Leslie's nail shop that I went to before was packed, so I went down there. Well, how many times have you been to this pink nail shop? About five times, four times. I only go there if Leslie's is packed. Okay. Now I want you to tell me what happened. Okay. For 2017 or oh, 2015? Oh, absolutely. 2017. I'm okay. not interested in 2015. I just knew that there had to be some history. Whatever the history was, it happened two years ago. Right. Okay. So you're getting a pedicure. Okay. So 2017. Now, are you getting a pedicure in one of those big seats? Yes. So you're in the pedicure chair right. with your feet in water? No. No. At that point, my feet was out of the water. Now she's painting my toenails. Okay, but in one of those big chairs. Yes, yes. Okay, and? So, Ariana walks in. I wasn't paying attention because I was on my phone. So she walks in from the streets to my face. Then she says to me, hey, you remember me? And I looked at her and I said, no, I don't remember you. Of course, I remembered her, but I didn't even want, I don't want no problems. No, so. no, just tell me what was said. Okay. So she, she said, you, hey, you remember, remember me. Remember me, yes. And I said, no. She said, yes, you do, and I ought to mace you. And at that point, she pulled the mace out and started spraying. I jumped up to retrieve the mace from her, which I did. But then she sprayed Out of me, the chair. Out of the chair. She sprayed me in the face. My left eye kind of swelled up from the chemical of the mace. So, but I was able to get it from her. And at that point, I had the people that worked at the nail shop to call the police for me. Do you have a police report? Yes, I do. And I'd I have like the pictures as well. I'd like to see. Okay, here's the police report. And here's all the pictures. And there's a picture after the fact of her putting me on social media, stating just, someone, just, please sh come get their mother. Sh